So first of all, what is content strategy? What do I mean when I say that? Well, here's a nice definition from Christina Halverson. Creation, publication, and governance of useful, usable content. And that useful and usable content is key here. Content may be useful for me as a personal trainer, as a business owner, but for someone else, it's not gonna provide them much use or much value like we've discussed in the previous unit. So that's just a nice, small, concise definition of what content strategy is. So, how do you create your content strategy? So here's a little thing I want you to go through, and this is the process I want you to follow, because as we know, following the process is key. So, first of all, we should already have our brand vision, message, and tone. We should have that down, and we should know exactly what that is. The next step I want you to do is audit your avatar. Once you've got that avatar, find out what types of content they would like to see. Do they prefer watching video? Do they prefer reading long blog posts? Do they prefer having short form or long-term content? And actually asking them what types of topics they would like uh, for you to publish on your social media platforms. Next thing I want you to do is audit your current content. If you've already got a social media page, there are different platforms, what I want you to do is look at your current content, look at the frequency that you post, but also look at the tone, the message that you're portraying. Is it very consistent with providing value to that avatar or have you been trying to please everyone and as a result, pleasing no one? The next thing I want you to do is audit yourself. Literally be honest with yourself. Self-awareness is a key thing. My, my strengths are not writing, but I much prefer being able to stand in front of a camera, talk, and all these things I do, I pretty much one take them. Pick a medium that complements your strengths. So once you work out what your strengths are, is it video, is it audio, or is it written form, then pick a medium to actually emphasize those strengths. So if you're not that comfortable being on camera, then maybe you're good at writing, and maybe that will be the best strategy for you is to maybe have a blog and focus on that type of medium. Next thing I want you to do is choose the platforms that best suit your strengths and where your avatar use regularly. So if they're on Instagram all the time, then it's probably a good a decision to actually select Instagram as one of your two main social media platforms, especially when starting off. So look where they currently are, where their attention is, because that's key, and then focus on those platforms that they are uh, currently using on a day-to-day -day basis. Once you've got all of that information, it's now time to create a long-term content strategy for each platform. So what I want you to do is reverse engineer what is the outcome you want for using Instagram, for using Snapchat, for using Facebook. What is it you want and what type of content are you going to put out on those platforms? For, so for example, for Shredded by Science, Facebook is more content-based in regards to training and nutrition. But on Snapchat, it's all pretty much to do with business mindset, social media. Uh, marketing. So again, each platform has their different strengths and we re reverse engineer what we actually want to achieve from those platforms. The next thing is once you've got that long-term strategy, and I'm going to show you how you can go through that in a little bit and get it put down and put it uh, pen to paper or actually type it on a computer, is then to devise the content. And remember, it has to be useful to that avatar. So devise the content, schedule it, and interact with the audience afterwards. It's called social media for a reason, it's to be social on. So if someone comments on your Facebook post, then reply to them. Remember, if someone asked you a question face to face, would you actually ignore them? And it's the same on social media to make sure that every person who asks a question gets value and gets an answer. And then finally, it's time to review it and tweak it. What's working well on these platforms at the moment, what's working not so well, and where do we need to tweak it? and get, gaining that feedback from your avatars. What did they like, what didn't they like, and what would they like to see in the future? And that's the process of creating a content strategy.